Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. And give a pause here and listen to the next one minute, whatever I'm going to tell you. If you are looking for a job change, if you are looking for a domain change, if you are a fresher who is looking for a job right now, then this video is going to help you a lot because with the statistics of this video, you are going to bargain your salary with the HR in the next coming months. So one more important information, this video is divided into three equal parts. The first part, I'll tell you about the service based and the product based companies differences. The second part, I'm going to tell you all the DevOps engineer salaries, which are based on my students placements. These are the facts and the real incidents that has happened to my students and they have bargained so many times their salaries. And that's what the statistics I'm going to tell you from the last three days I was researching and I'm, I have put everything for you guys onto this uh, slides. Now the third part is going to be uh, important part for you, the in hand salaries for the DevOps engineers after the deduction of tax, a provident fund, uh, your uh, whatever the company's deductions are there, professional tax and all those things. What is the amount of salary if you are getting an X amount as a package for you? So let's get started into the video. First, I will talk about the service based and the product based companies differences, guys. So let me tell you, I started my career with Infosys and now I have cracked more than 30 to 40 companies in my eight years of experience. And for your information, my students have also cracked many of the companies, including Walmart, Amazon, Flipkart, Adobe, Mintra, uh, Zepto, as well as your Zeta. And if you don't believe I have given the placements link in the description, you can check out. And also the batch 10, we have started guys with 15 plus real time projects, 30 plus assignments, 400 plus interview questions of whatever the companies have cracked them. I will be giving you as a dump. And this time, yes, I'm focusing on coding because without coding, no job offer is with you. The people who are getting jobs outside are well aware of coding, at least on the Python basics to medium level, you should be knowing. So without wasting much time, let's get started into the video. So first of all, as I have told you, I'll be quickly talking about the service based first. Now in the service based organizations, these are those organizations which provide the services to the other companies. For example, Infosys. Infosys provides services to Bank of America. Infosys provides services to Toyota. Infosys provides services to many other companies, right? So they provide employees and whatever the projects that Toyota gives or Bofa gives, they have to do the work on that. So basically here the salaries will be less because Infosys as a company or a mediator is taking off the cut from whatever the clients are paying directly to the uh, Infosys. Let's say on a particular employee, the client play, pays 50 rupees, then Infosys will give you 10 rupees only. For example, Infosys is paying uh, at, at my point of time, Infosys was paying 10 lakhs for me. Then Infosys is giving me 3.3 LPA. And I think now also they are giving the same package of 3.3 LPA. If you are from Infosys, comment down if this is true or not. Anyways, we will be discussing in the, in the next coming few minutes about these stats. Now work will be for client as I've told you and more growth opportunities will be there because in the service based company, once the project is completed like six months to eight months or one year, you will be deployed onto the other project based on the same account or even you can go to the bench and look out for the other opportunities with other accounts. So that's very much simple in service based companies. No hopping, no nothing. Uh, you can just go on and switch your uh, roles uh, in various kinds of projects if you have the ability to crack the interview. Now, product based companies, very good salary, very good benefits, employee benefits are top notch. If you take the example of Walmart, free phones, free uh, employee benefits, uh, insurance, uh, top notch insurance, uh, as well as gym reimbursement, internet reimbursement, free food three times, free cab all the time. So amazing office, work culture is awesome, work from home. All those things will be there if you are cracking product based companies and obviously the salary is also good. Growth will be a little bit less growth in the sense the learning curve will be less because product based companies are always stable. They maintain the old tech stack. Uh, they don't want to quickly adapt to the new changes, right? So it takes a little bit of time to settle down uh, in a product based company. But if you are settling down in a product based company, then your growth will be entirely different because your mindset will be completely changed ki bhai haan crack karna hai to aise companies crack karna hai aur salary bhi achhi hai bhai to usse aage next companies you will also target in the same genre or uh, what i will say like your mindset will be completely tuned up ki yaar agla company ho to product based company hoga kyunki once you are joining some product based companies you cannot go back to the service based company because they will not offer that much package right so anyways packages we will discuss about rsus bonus components and all those things 
Uh, Work-life balance and employee benefits, as I have told you, are really, really awesome. You should at least work in one of the product-based company and you tell me in the comment section which is your dream company. If you have not seen the placements of Batch 10, definitely check out the placements of Batch 10. I always make sure that whatever I have cracked, I give the same energy to you guys so that you crack the same things, whatever you are looking for in the coming future, right? So that was about the service-based and product-based companies and now moving on to the part two, guys on the salary part. Very, very much important. If you are in a service-based company from zero to 15 plus years of experience, I will tell you the salary. If you are working in a product-based company or if you are willing to move from service-based to product-based companies, then I'm going to tell you every salary, every bit of thing that you are looking for. Now here I'll divide the people into three categories. One is low level category, medium level category and a high level category. Now, what does this mean? See, everyone has their IQ to crack any kind of company. For example, 2016, I was zero. That's why I cracked Infosys. 2019, I was a little bit mature. So medium level, I cracked Verizon. 2021, I was very much matured. I cracked Walmart. So I am also from zero to whatever you are seeing now, right? The journey is very difficult. I was kicked out from the project. That is a different story. But yes, the journey is always going ahead. And every point of time in life, you will meet these kind of people who are more aggressive than you in cracking companies who are not even cracking a company and they are staying in the same company for years and years or who don't have the job at all, right? So nevertheless always move forward keep on hunting for job and you will succeed in your next coming role so let's get started guys devops engineer salary i'll start with a service-based organization in service-based organization if you see like zero to one year of experience the salary will be three to five lpa particularly infosys cognizant your tcs or any kind of virtues are these kind of companies pay three to five lpa for any devops engineer or any kind of engineer who is starting a career with these kind of companies now tcs what they have done that's a good chance they are giving like they have divided the zones uh, of salaries and depending on as i have told you right base uh, no level uh, medium level and high level so whatever the person cracks uh, the particular zone he will be offered to that kind of salary so i think uh, three to five uh, is the starting salary for tcs uh, five to seven is the second range and seven to nine is the third range of uh, TCS salary. If you are from TCS, correct me if I am uh, wrong. So I'll be happy to take your queries also. So coming on to like two plus years of experience, let's say when I was in two plus years of experience in Infosys, uh, my salary was 3.3 uh, uh, LPA only. But in 2024, some scenarios have been changed. Some companies are giving a little bit more. So for two plus years of experience, you can get around five to seven to 10 LPA also depending on the type of company you are cracking. That is also you need to have multiple offers. You need to have the patience of applying to various kinds of job roles in various kinds of companies. If you have not seen my videos on the YouTube channel, you can check out and subscribe to the channel if you are coming for the first time on the channel here. Now going on to like five plus years of experience, service based companies are offering around 12 plus to 15 plus LPA. Now these are the same companies I have seen uh, my friend, uh, one girl from Walmart has moved to Infosys because uh, she was um, because Walmart has uh, removed the complete work from home policy and uh, everyone has to go to uh, office for two days. Right now uh, she was in a position where she has to take the offer letter of the company which are there in Pune. So what she has done is uh, uh, she went back to the companies which are there in the Pune and uh, one company she got was Infosys for the same salary. So the good part here is uh, whatever Walmart was offering in the base salary, the Infosys offered the same salary for her. So that is what I'm telling. Even uh, she was like seven plus years of experience. So she got around 28 to 30 LPA. That is very good salary compared to the Infosys because from Walmart, she joined Infosys. So I think uh, because of the project, because of the structured demand, uh, she got the package. But I believe if anyone um, uh, is there at seven plus years of experience, a uh, little bit of uh, what you can say, like little bit of uh, salary um, uh, downgrade only you will see in these kind of companies. Coming on to the product based companies, interns and freshers, eight to 10 LPA, all these salaries are the 
base salaries which you can ask for the companies and it can go if any of the companies uh, are offering you stocks bonus joining bonus or variable pay grab that opportunity and have the multiple offers before you join any of the company interns and pressures 8 to 10 lpa very good salary two plus years of experience 12 to 14 lpa that's a very good salary and um, i would suggest if anyone is targeting for product based companies you can definitely go out this tax uh, stats basically three plus uh, years of experience 14 to 19 LPA even more than that I have seen like people are getting now 22 to 25 LPA also that is higher level of people but whatever the salaries I'm telling are for the mid level of people five plus years of experience obviously from 20 to 30 uh, LPA is what the salary ranges are and uh, when I say five plus it includes seven to ten also if you are on a managerial level let me tell you let me be very honest with you 45 to 55 LPA as the base salary will be yours uh, in these product based companies and it can go a little bit higher also according to your variable pay add-ons now these are the stats correct me if i am wrong and if you have watched till here it means that you are uh, looking forward to get a job soon if you are getting a job let me know in the comment section if you are hunting for the job let me know how is the josh if you are willing to help your friends share the bash 10 link with your friends now going on to the third segment so very very much important Boss, I am getting 10 LPA. What is my in-hand salary as a DevOps engineer? Very, very much important. For a 10 LPA person, the in-hand salary will be 68,000 per month after removing all the dedu deductions like tax, professional tax, your provident fund and whatever the other cuts uh, your company is taking out from your salary. Everything is removed and you will receive like 10 LPA. Now, don't do like 10 LPA by 12, you are like 83,000. No, it will be 68,000 per year. 20 LPA, 1,20,000 per year. 30 LPA, 1,75,000 per month, basically. 30 LPA per year, which will be like 1,75,000 per month salary. 40 LPA CTC, 2,28,000 per month salary. And if you are 50 LPA salary, 2,82,000 per month salary which is coming to your account. Now, these are the stats, which are again based on the uh, experience, based on different kinds of offers, counter offers. What are your current expectations? What is the current offer you hold? How much talent you are based on those stats? These all things have been designed. If you have watched till here, make sure you like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. Uh, and uh, tomorrow there will be a live resume class. Make sure you join. The links will be rolled out very soon. Bash 10 links are in the description. Make sure you are joining without fail and do share with your friends also. This is Praveen signing off from this video. Meet you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.